At the last meeting, there was almost uh, between the two meetings. We had one in the morning and we had one in the afternoon. We had about 120 uh, some people attend those meetings. There were a lot more parents in those meetings, so we're really going to have to work at uh, uh, getting back to uh, uh, the parents. But how that meeting all got started when there was a, uh, a press coverage actually uh, by the, the Post and um, I don't know if the Tribune, but the Post that uh, had an article in there, hello, uh, that had uh, in reference to the IB Site Selection Committee uh, issuing uh, their recommendation to uh, pick Peabody as their uh, site. And of course, to many of us, many of us, great surprise, um, there was no engagement with the uh, parents or the local community groups that are so involved, like ours and wireless neighborhoods and other groups uh, that are involved in Peabody, that alarms went off, big alarms, saying, you know, we've worked for some 30 years to improve the, the Lincoln Marmor and the, the Garfield and uh, the Friendship and uh, East Liberty area, and we finally stabilized it, and we have great hope uh, with all the work many of us have done, such as the two past events that were at Peabody, there were 700 folks there, uh, on May 10th, 13th of each, each year, because we were building confidence in the local community to put their, their kids there. And of course, working with the principal of our community learns and other stuff that we did, many of Blue and Garfield were just taken back. So at that point, uh, we thought there really is a need for to bring community pe to put people together that have uh, some of those same concerns and uh, to contact the, the school district to come out and, and, and to engage us. So at that point, that's what occurred, and, and, and it tried to have a positive engagement. I was assured at that time by uh, Lisa Fischetti over the phone is that um, they, were, they were surprised that, uh, that this was released as it was. It wasn't that they're doing to release the, the IB report like this uh, into the public, and that it was only a recommendation coming back uh, to the superintendent and certainly had to be uh, fleshed out, and there would have to be a lot of engagement, uh, additional engagement, to do that. And so at that point, uh, we wrote a letter to the superintendent actually, and we handed it out at the last meeting. And we said to the superintendent, could you assign uh, somebody to our working group to uh, really flesh this out to, and to try to work in a collaborative manner? Because I think what came out of the last meeting, and we're going to go through some of these notes, is although we felt um, uncomfortable with uh, uh, a process issue that had occurred, uh, we didn't disagree that something happens to ha ha has to happen with Peabody. And I think you're going to see some t statistics that are rather startling uh, around uh, the Peabody achievement levels and so forth. Um, so in the framework of, of that occurring, and the other thing that's occurring, uh, the other thing that's occurring is that there's a working group that's focusing on Westinghouse. And Westinghouse's uh, enrollment uh, is, is rather low, and they've got a big building just like Westinghouse and Peabody, even though Peabody has approximately 500 kids, I think uh, Westinghouse has approximately uh, 300 kids. So there, there's a consensus, I think, unless the district people want to speak differently to that, is that, is that there was a need for kind of a regional collaboration, that what was brought forward to the superintendent was really a recommendation to his, but it, it, it needs to be fleshed out with multiple stakeholders that deal with all the young people, especially our young people, that approximately 500 of them, that are at tremendous risk, and that any disruption in their lives, uh, in terms of their education, that doesn't improve that and, and make it better, uh, is, is, is not a good thing. So at the meeting, uh, Rick Swartz, BGC's executive director, put uh, notes up here, uh, and some of the things that came out of that meeting, I just want to go over them so we can frame, so there's, there's a continuum that's occurring uh, prior to that is that uh, the group came up with a consensus that we need to look at the big picture uh, in terms of the city, all the city high schools. That no particular stakeholder group should be so powerful just to tell other stakeholder groups in a sense what to do. Uh, there should be true collaboration among those, uh, those groups. And groups can't work in isolation. The IB committee uh, truly was a wonderful group of people, uh, but they didn't hold public hearings, they didn't involve the Peabody community, they didn't involve others. And so, in a sense, it was working in isolation and not necessarily as transparent, maybe as uh, maybe the district would like it to be. Um, and of course, the, the priority is always quality in making uh, great things uh, happen. Uh, and so, 
There was a lot of things that came out of the meeting around the need to take into consideration, and what you're going to hear, I'm sure, is around uh, our feeder pattern and kids, people not picking Peabody. Well, that's true. You know, I, I, let's not question that. Anybody want to question? People don't pick schools that are low-achieving schools that don't really have a hook for them to go to, something that's really going to, to attract people in it. So in the past, many folks, especially from Highland Park, drive right by Peabody and go into Shenley, a large percentage of them because they just didn't see that as a possibility. I just want to correct something yeah. so that we're all starting in, this, in the same way. And, and these guys that were on the IV slash, you correct me if I'm wrong, the IV selection committee was, was campaigned by the district and was told not to engage. This was supposed to be a, a process that was just going to be done. Is, no, is that that's actually correct. Yeah, okay, I was yeah. asking these guys. In the I led the committee. Okay, pardon me? I led the committee, so I was just going to respond to how many people in the room get the A plus list served that the emails were A plus for the field. Yeah, we actually did. And we're going to explain that during our presentation. We actually solicited anyone to. Um, oh, no, no, no. That's not saying. What I'm saying is that Rick was, was sort of saying that the way the IV process selection worked was without any transparency, and maybe it was different than even the district wanted. And that gives the impression that the IV committee was sort of operating on their own and not sharing information. But that's not how I understood that, that the process. Well, let me give it a well, presentation. Right? I just well, want to. Let me clarify that. Yeah. There might have been something going on a website, and there might have been something. But how many people saw that? Okay, so my, my point is the process that was used wasn't as, as extensive as sending big mailings out to people and holding a series of meetings and all those things. So, so let's, it shouldn't speak in absolutes, and I'll correct myself if that's true. So there, there might have been a process in place, but certainly it did reach people like myself and others that were so involved with people. I don't think. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it was a district process and so forth, and a district committee, really, that selected. And, and my understanding, there was at least two school board members on that committee. Um, you know, we've got to find a way to work together that keeps the tension level down. You know, it, it, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. You know, it can't be. Well, you know, because we could start throwing out things like gentrification, and we could start throwing out the racial nature of decisions. Let's let's. We need to, we need to be careful with that, but we need to make sure that those interests and, and inclusion uh, is is truly a goal. Uh, Can I just that's ask Rick, because part of what we were asked to do as a representative of the district was to bring information that, and, and that is what we're prepared to, you know, have the IP yeah. site selection committee share their process, and then I'll share yeah. some of the data. So yeah. I, I ask it in the spirit of collaboration yeah. that we would. Yeah. The key, the key, I think, is, is that after this is done, because uh, I'm still not clear, Nancy, mm -hmm. is, is are the people that signed up to be part of the, the leadership committee of this group, and there are a number of others tonight that can be part of that, uh, are we going to be empowered, similar to the IB selection committee, to uh, take a look at what we can do? Not necessarily, let's not call it Peabody. Let's call it for uh, uh, our feeder pattern, that addresses the needs of especially the kids that are in that building. Are we going to be empowered to do that? Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Well, there's, that. A, there's going to be. But a group if you know, part of that, yeah. part of the presentation, if you kind of hold yeah. up on that, because that's okay. our, our goal. All right, but that, that really is the question. And really, the question leaving really and good. leaving and leaving here tonight. You know, I'm going to ask you when you leave. Do you feel as though we're being empowered by the district to kind of go back? And, and have a planning process that's inclusive. I mean, I'd love to engage the IB folks, and I'd like to engage the parents there. I know some of the parents that would love to be involved in people. I'd love to engage the, the Westing class hosts. You know, can we put together a process and, and, and have that I in place to make that happen? Yeah, but I just want to frame it so, because so, I'm a little concerned, Nancy, just uh, I don't want people looking at the statistics and say, we'll give it up, you know. That's, oh, no, that's all right, okay. okay. And so there, you can look at the rest of the, the stuff that's on here, but there was a lot of good comments that were made uh, uh, last time.